Hello and welcome to The Kosher Maze, the game that will test your physical and mental stamina, your chutzpah and potentially your ability to schmooze our judges. This is a very special edition of JTV in collaboration with Tribe, the Young People's Department of the United Synagogue, in celebration of Shabbat UK. Shabbat UK is happening on the 27th and 28th of October 2017 and competing in this kosher maze will be Tribe youth directors from United Synagogues all over London. We split them into two teams, we've got the green team and the purple team and the winning team is going to be taking home the coveted Kosher Maze Trophy. We're here at Kosher Kingdom, which is the largest kosher supermarket in Europe. They are renowned for their splendid choice of kosher products, keen pricing and courteous and friendly service. And let me tell you, if you are preparing for Shabbat UK, anything you could possibly need is going to be here. With great Shabbat offers to help you with entertaining. So now there's just one thing left. Purple team, green team, are you guys ready for the kosher maze? <laughs> Guys, so now we're going on to our first challenge. So everybody's, and especially my favorite part of any Shabbat or any holiday in general, is the food. So that is what our first challenge is gonna be celebrating. You guys need to pick two people from each team, preferably somebody who's quick on their feet and somebody who is good with their hands. So if you guys huddle up now and decide who you're gonna nominate for the first challenge. They're putting a lot of effort into this. So as you guys know, chicken soup, massive part of Friday night dinners. So this task is gonna involve one of you sat in a trolley holding a bowl of chicken soup and the other one of you pushing that person around this supermarket as fast as you possibly can. So you're gonna be marked on two things. One, how quickly you get around the supermarket and two, who spills the least amount of soup. You guys think you can do that? Yeah. 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 Okay, great. Well, green team, you're up first. Follow me to the first challenge. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So I'm gonna count you down, and when you hear me say go, run like hell, okay? Great. Three, two, one, and go! Purple team, we've got Ivor and Yoav. This way. Great. Right. Three, two, one, go! Guys, you did really well, um, but you got a bit of spillage, I'm afraid. And not only that, you were one second behind the green team. So the first challenge goes to the green team. So Shabbat is all about preparation. And as youth directors, you guys obviously spend a lot of time preparing for Shabbat activities. And no doubt you're going to have a lot to do for Shabbat UK. And as rabbis teach us, the more you prepare for Shabbat, the more you're going to get out of it. Kosher Kingdom are known for having a massive selection of food. They have a vast array of wines from around the world, South African delights, and a fantastic range of special diet products. Gluten-free, sugar-free, and the best kosher pick-a-mix in town. So guys, in this bag is my lucky dip. You are going to be picking out five special food items that are going to be found somewhere in this store. You're then going to have four minutes to get as many of them as you can and then scan them through the tills at the end. So guys, you're going to have to huddle up again. You're going to pick three contestants. Two are going to be running around and one's going to be on the checkout. Decide who you're going to nominate now. If you guys want to put your hands into my bag of mystery, you made that weird. Pick out five items and that's what you guys are going to be chasing around the shop today, okay? If you want to pick out the first one. 
What have you got? Floating wicks. Floating wicks? I don't know what that is, but that sounds interesting. We know where this one is. Um, simulated chicken fat. Simulated chicken fat. Right, that's weird. <laughs> and the third? Spray on herbs. Spray on herbs. Okay, kind of like a tan, but more delicious. Okay. Uh, number four? Oregano spray? Oregano spray, Oregano yeah. Spray. Okay, they're probably going to be near each other. And your last one? This Taramis Taramis Alata. Taramis Alata, a classic. Yeah. All right, guys, when I say go, three, two, one, go! Is this it? Uh, yes, that's it. Fat. Sure? Oh, yes, fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. Get two, there you go. Okay, next, what's next? Uh, Simulated chicken fat. Is it over here? Can't see it, I can't see it. Can't see it. And spray on herbs. What else do we need? Spray on herbs. Wicks. It's not going to be here. Oil spray. Spray on herbs. Spray on herbs and what? Oregano. Oregano. Any spray on herbs? Spray on herbs and oregano. Which one? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. rosemary? One oregano. Done. Done. Okay. Right, and that's, uh, what's next? Wicks. Quick. No, I've got. Oh, you got wicks. Chicken uh, fat. Chicken fat. Not going to be there. I'm going to look here. Probably looking right one at minute, it. One minute, let's go. One minute, that's it. That's it, let's go. Let's go. Boiled. Oh, Rabbi will not be pleased. Good. Come here, quick, quick, quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Scan it. Come on. It's on the bottom. <laughs> yeah! Okay, well done, guys. You managed to get four of the items. Uh, four and, and a mini one. Yeah, I like that you were like, oh, yeah, we'll just get two. It doesn't count for double points, I'm afraid. So you've got a tarama salata, got the spray on herbs, the oregano, oregano or oregano for our American viewers. Um, spray on herbs. Spray on, oh, more spray on herbs. And floating, floating wicks. wicks. What is that? For uh, Shabbat candles. Of, of course. I knew that. Well, good job, guys. You got four out of five. We'll have to see if the green team does better, though, I'm afraid. Right. I'm sure they will. Okay. That's the spirit. Okay, we're now with the green team. Guys, have you decided who's going to be on the checkout and who's running around? Yeah, check out girl over here. Great, good choice. And it's also now time to dive into my bag of mystery. Take out your first you one. Pick okay, so what do you got? Fiesta flats. Ooh, Fiesta flats. Exactly where they are. Do you? Yeah. Oh, and I'll, oh, got an unfair advantage. Love a flat red. What have we got on number two? I can't read that. Oh, great. Ras El Hamut. Thank you. It's a Moroccan I, spice rub. I also would have struggled, but I do love a spice rub. Number three? Rose water. Ooh. Rose water. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. My middle name's Rose. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's fate. Um plum sauce. Oh, oh, just, just the one plum sauce then. <laughs> Good. Bisto, Bisto gravy sauce. My fave. Oh, My fave. Oh, right. Buzzing. Okay, so I think you guys know what you're going to do, right? Yeah. Right. Alex, you want to get on the checkout? I'm going now. Okay. Okay, ladies, you got four minutes. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> 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 this so gravy is over here. I'm gonna get the spice. Bisto, bisto. Here, I got it. I got bisto. the spice. No, no, you need help with the bisto. Plum sauce, plum sauce. Plum, 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 plum. plum, plum. It's in the Chinese bit. <laughs> they have a lovely Asian selection. I can't find it. Soy sauce. Who eats plum sauce? Okay, let's move on. I found plum vinegar. Is it the same plum sauce? No, there's no plum. Ume plum sauce, plum vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, next. next. Plum, here, Fiesta flats. Weird. <laughs> 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 should be those. Oh, oh we need tort tortillas. What's a Fiesta? <laughs> what uh, is it? No, it could be this. There's here, this is oh, a whole. Our Fiesta. Taco shells, taco dinner, crime. You're here. making up names of things. Fajitas, could greens. Rose water. Okay, you get rose water, I'll look for that. Oh, I'll come with you. It's in my leg. <laughs> rose water's not here. It's in my leg. Vanilla extract, that was a really good idea. Rose water. Rum water. Rum. You know what rum? Peppermint. Rum, rum. You guys made up things. Wait, let's just pretend we got some tortillas. They won't know. They won't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were so overconfident with this. How long is longer? Because they've made up. You've got almost no time. I'd scan what you have. What the fuck? How are you? Oh, all the items. Whoa. We've been waiting for oh, what the? Done. That's it. No. We're in love again. There's two. You, you made up it's all the items. so hard. You made up all that. <laughs> so green team. Bit of a disappointing performance. You uh, you only managed to get the Ras El Hanout and your Un Plume Vinegar, which I think is French for ketchup. Um, but you guys, you only got two items, yeah. whereas the purple team, they got four. So that means this round goes to the purple team. Yeah. It's rigged! <laughs> And now we're moving on to our next challenge. So, guys, if you want to nominate two people from each team for task numero trois. <laughs> Great, nice and efficient. <laughs> now, whenever you prepare for a Shabbat meal, there's always going to be someone that turns up with a dietary request. So we've set up a cooking table for you guys. So if you're going to follow me, we're going to explain what this next task is, okay? So here we are at our little cooking table for you. So guys, we are honoured and thrilled to be joined by Robertson Frieda Kaplan from Norris Lee United Synagogue. Okay. Yes! <laughs> so she is vegan, gluten-free and has a nut allergy, don't you Frieda? Yeah, you do, you do. So guys, you are each going to have five minutes to run around the store, get everything you need to make a cold starter entree for her Shabbat meal. Think you can do that? Right, that's the enthusiasm we want. <laughs> so Frida is going to be in charge of judging who creates the most delicious and well-presented dish, okay? So we're going to be doing this one at a time, and green team, you're going to be going first on this task, okay? So you want to pop your aprons on, we're going to get ready to start. Okay, Okay. so you guys know you've got five minutes, you know what you need to get? Yeah. yeah. Great, well, on your marks, let's hit, go! Okay, okay. We need the crackers. Yeah. Which ones? Those ones. Are yeah, they gluten free? Not... Yeah, they are gluten free. Should we get those? Uh, yeah, they look nice. Okay, next we need some vegetables. Vegetables, okay. Avocado, do you want to get tomatoes? Yeah. Um, they're there. Onion, red onion, yeah. So red onion, yes. Yeah, one tomato. Two, yeah, get one. Two. Get two just in case. Yeah. Good quality, extra virgin. Yeah, it's lovely. Arm. Perfect. What's and next? So is the salt anywhere near here? Um, I think it's around the other side. Okay, so we'll get that. We're going okay. to pesto. Um, it's in Hebrew. No, we're good. Oh, it's got cashew nuts. No, we can't no, use that. Can't use that. Okay. Um, is there an alternative? Pesto. Here, dairy-free basil pesto. Let's show this one. Put this on it. Ingredients. No nuts. No nuts. Oh, Just pine nuts. Pine nuts are fine. They're a seed. Yeah. Let's go. Perfect. Good knowledge. Salt. Okay. Yes, this looks like the right place. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Here's the salt. So, should we use this um, course? Yes. What do you think? This one? Yeah, why not? Okay. Perfect. Okay, is that okay. everything we need? Um, yeah. As far as I know, I've got my three ingredients. Yeah. Let's go then. Okay, here we go. That was quick, guys. Get your sleeves okay. rolled up before we start. Yeah. Pay no attention to the two people who are watching you intently. I want to ask what it is, but at the same time, I'd like to be surprised. <laughs> Nothing worse than a firm avocado. So yep. do you want to get things in and I'll mix as you do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, some of it got in the bowl. Okay, so let's get those on the plate. Okay, do you want to open the oil so we can sprinkle on the top? There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> For their first course, Dina and Nathaniel have prepared an avocado tomato and onion salad embedded in a creamy pesto sauce on a bed of gluten-free crackers and finished with a sprinkle of extra virgin olive oil. Are you ready to taste? I was born ready. Let's okay. do it. So let's have a... After you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. It's interesting, it's a little difficult to hold. I'm not quite sure it's quite how large, I should be. Isn't it? it is quite large. I'm gonna tuck in. And that's oh. nice for somebody who likes a nice big portion. Yeah, I almost want to put it like two together and calzone it. Hmm. I, I'm curious about the rest of the plate. Possibly we could have done something. I saw you were playing around with the olive oil. There was a way of maybe making it look a little bit more um, 
adding, adding extra extra elements possibly. But the cracker itself looks really, really nice. The only thing I said was it, it, is, a, it is quite a bit difficult to, I was a little worried. I'm just gonna go all the way down my shabbos dress as I, as, I pick it, as I pick it up. But I can definitely see that you've made an effort to cater for all my needs in this, in this thing and it's, it's, it's quite tasty. Thank you, really appreciate that, thank mm. you. And for something that doesn't have chicken in it, I really like it. So, <laughs> well done guys. Thank you. Okay guys, so the green team had their turn. It's now up to you. You know what you've got to do. So, on your marks, get set, go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, red onion. That looks like a good one. Uh, avocados. Soft one. Soft one. Touch me. Pair of chips. All right. Oh, got it. It's only in a bundle. Okay, olives are everywhere. Which hummus do you want, just plain? Yep. Sweet peppers, just put them in one thing. Yay or nay? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go on You can get anything you want, but something nice. Like, what's going to be the best one? Let's see. Zoolis, Zoolis. No one likes matzo, so no matzo. Right, we've got our crackers, our turd chips. There's a time limit. They are aware. Some, sure someone they're... somewhere is timing this, I'm sure. I knew that. For their first course, Barry and Mira have prepared a platter of crackers and blue crisps with an array of side dips and dishes including an avocado salad, stuffed olives, peppers and Middle Eastern hummus. Okay, so they definitely thought about presentation here. Yeah, There's I like this. play with colours and different things. They, they went around the shop and really saw what they could find. Got a lot going Are on. Are you ready to have some tasting? Yeah, I'm really Do curious. Do you want a, sort of blue, a blue potato uh, Yeah, because until now I'd never heard of blue potato. So this obviously they didn't make. This just came out of a container. Hmm, seedy. It's very good. I think it's very, very nice. I like the fact that they've allowed us lots of different options together and the person who has all these allergies actually has what to eat. Okay guys, well done. You know, you both did a really good job. Um, Frida, what are your thoughts on both of the guys? Well, as far as taste was concerned, I would definitely go with the green team. But I think the blues did really well on presentation. So it's really difficult to decide and I'm supposed to be judging on both. So actually, I'm going to do a tie. Oh, tiebreaker. Well done, guys. And that also means that you're now dead heat for the coming into the next two and last challenges. You're tying neck and neck. So this is exciting. Well done. All right, go back to your teams and we're going to reassemble for the next challenge. Thanks very much. Thank you. So, so far, we've had the green team won the first challenge. Purple team won the second challenge. And our third challenge was a dead heat. So both teams are neck and neck going into our fourth challenge. This is where it's going to get really interesting. Both teams are again going to nominate two team members and you guys are going to have to decide who's going to get your croot on. Yeah, you're going to see, you're going to, yeah, you're going to see, right? So have you decided who, uh, who are your two team members? Yeah. Okay, well if you guys are ready, follow me. So it's basically Jewish law that every Friday night you have a big box of Osam's croutons to go with your soup. And Osim's have very kindly sponsored us with the world's largest bowl of croutons, which our two teams are going to have to dive into and try and find the 10 raisins that we've hidden in there in 60 seconds. So teams, here are your cups. 60 seconds, most raisins wins. Theo and Louis, you're going to be guessing in and you're going to be passing the raisins to your teammates. Are you guys ready? Yep, ready. Okay, on your marks, get set, go! Go on, oh, yeah. get in there! Come on, in the cup, in the cup. Just put your you've, got, you've got a renegade raisin. Yeah, loads of croutons. Yeah, I've got six. There we go. Digging, guys. <laughs> well, you made a little bit of a mess, but it's all right. 
Purple team, how many races yeah, have you got? Yeah. Okay, let's tip them out. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-seven. I think, I think it was about fifteen. I'm gonna say about fifteen raisins. Green team, how many have you got? <laughs> ten. Also, there's one. I'm getting the feeling five. that some of the counting here are a little bit dodgy. And oh, there's loads of left in here. You just can't see it. And there's so many 24. left. Too many to carry in his hand. Too many to carry in his hand. Sorry. I'm doing this offside, guys. I've got to give it to the purple team. <laughs> <laughs> so that was great. You guys have made a little bit of a mess, um, but that's all right because they are really expired croutons anyway. What? what? So for this task, we're going to be joined by Rabbi Kaplan is actually going to be challenging the contestants with various questions about Shabbat. Thanks for joining us, Rabbi Kaplan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now I think it's time for the big reveal. If you guys can make like the Red Sea and split. <laughs> this is our very swanky homemade slime machine. And in here, we're going to have all the teams going to be competing. They're going to be stood in there being asked a series of questions by the rabbi and when somebody gets a question wrong, he's going to hit the big red button and they're going to get slimed. Oh. First up in this challenge, we've got Ayelet from Belmont. What is the name of the song that we sing on Friday night that expresses our gratitude to the Jewish woman? Um, Aisha Kyle? You're right! Yes. Great. Next up, we have the green team, and we've got Devorah from Watford. On a regular Shabbat, what are the three objects we need to perform the Havdalah service at the conclusion of Shabbat? Wine, candle, and the spices, um, besamim. And you're right! That's back to purple. We've got Jody from Mill Hill. Which Parsha appears in the Torah after Lech Lecha? Vayera. And she's right. Next up, we've got the green team. We've got Alex Fenton from Cockfosters and Southgate. Alex, what is my favorite Shabbat dish? Kugel. My favorite Shabbat dish is Frida's chicken soup. Ah. Oh, nice. Sorry, Alex, but you are wrong. <laughs> If it's any consolation, I've seen you look worse. So. so, the points are in after five amazing challenges and some really great effort from everybody involved. It looked like the purple team were going to win it, but after Alex getting slime like that, we think we had to award you some special extra points. So, it's actually come out that it's been a tie between both the purple and the green team. Hey. Yeah. But. The real winners are everybody at home who have these amazing leaders working in their tribe communities on your behalf. So this trophy is for the greens, the purples, and everybody at home. So to find out uh, a little bit more about what's going on in your local communities for Shabbat UK with all of these guys, you can go to tribeuk.com forward slash tribe Shabbat UK. I'm Elliot for JTV. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Woo!